More and more researchers are sharing data with health study participants, including data on household chemical exposures. Sharing data with study participants respects their autonomy, allows them to act, and aligns with best practices in research ethics. Researchers are actively developing tools for sharing study data with participants and communities, including paper and digital reports. Data physicalizations may also be useful in this effort. They may help people both intellectually and emotionally engage with information. However, there are limited studies of data physicalization for report back in diverse audiences. Our study tests three data physicalizations with community members, artists, and researchers. It focuses on data from environmental health studies, including the Green Housing Study. These studies measure chemical exposures in the home and can impact health conditions like asthma. The Green Housing Study occurred in public and affordable housing and included a diverse group of people, including many African American, Chinese American, or Hispanic participants and communities. In this study, we consider people's experience of the data physicalizations in the report back context. We created three data physicalizations for sharing this data with the public. Big Bar Chart, Dressed in Data, and Data Shirts. Big Bar Chart is a human-sized interactive bar chart. It aims to facilitate collective discussion and exploration of environmental data. Prototype interaction modes for Big Bar Chart included squeezing the bars, squishing the bars, and using soft buttons to select variables. Dressed in Data is a set of artistic clothing pieces. It gives a visually intriguing overview of one participant's overall data. Each garment represents data from one chemical class. The squares on the lace pattern represent the relative amounts of the chemicals detected in one person's home compared to others in the study. Data shirts are customized shirts showing an individual their exposure to one class of chemicals related to asthma. Each line on the shirt represents the relative amount of one phthalate found in the person's home. The shirt also includes a QR code and tag so participants can get more information. We tested these data physicalizations with environmental researchers at the 2014 International Society of Exposure Science Conference, community members at Green Housing Study meetings in Cincinnati and Boston, and artists, technologists, and designers at the 2013 MIT Fashion Show. We also made data shirts for 44 Boston area Green Housing Study participants. Environmental samples were collected from the homes and chemicals measured in the lab. We created custom shirts from the data using screen printing techniques. Participants received a personalized shirt along with their study results by mail or at two community meetings. We used interviews and ethnographic observations to understand people's experience with the physicalizations. See our paper for more information on our methods. Our study found that researchers and community members from diverse backgrounds were curious and excited about the data physicalizations. People were particularly enthusiastic about customized designs made just for them. We also saw that people's desire to share their data varied. At the same time, the data physicalizations were a very new idea to many people. Because of this, some people attempted to understand data physicalizations by connecting it to their prior experience. Overall, our study found that using data physicalizations with diverse audiences can be an important part of understanding how to design effective data physicalizations. Partnering with environmental or health studies may help researchers discover new avenues for the use of data physicalizations. Please see our paper for more information.